I get a lot of questions about my media room. So I'm gonna do a quick media room tour. We will start with the room itself and then I'll work my way uh, to the electronics and the details. So uh, when you come into the room, we have these double doors. Uh, we come into the room and here's a full view. So in the front of the room, I have a 75 inch uh, Vizio and we'll get into that in a minute. On the side of the room, I have a, a 55 inch uh, TV mounted. We have our candy set up, our marquee, all of our chairs. There's the media closet. Uh, we have this little light and then we're back to the doors. So let me, let me come around. So here we have a large chalkboard. Um, we watch quite a bit of fights and we do quite a bit of gambling and betting and DraftKings on those fights. So uh, we haven't updated this chalkboard in a while because we moved away from that format. But um, my buddy and I would pick fights, uh, bet on the fights, and then uh, we were keeping track of winning and losing here. So in the front of the room, let me back up for you. In the front of the room, the main TV is a 75 inch Vizio M class. Uh, so it's a 4K Dolby Vision TV. Vizios are my favorite mid range televisions. They're not super cheap, they're not super expensive, uh, but for the money, you get some really solid quality. This TV is actually a few years old. Um, I was gonna do a projector in here, but I decided um, ultimately TVs are just clearer, brighter, and uh, I'm probably not gonna upgrade this until you know, uh, 90, 100 inch TVs. Um, are more readily available. I'm seeing 86 inches for dirt cheap, but I'm gonna wait till they're a little bigger. Um, on the left and the right, we have large floor standing Klipsch reference premier speakers. Um, I'll link everything in the description. Uh, these look great and they sound great. The center channel is the another Klipsch reference premier. That is all of the speakers. Uh, that's the brand we use for all our speakers. So we have left, right, center, and if we turn around, go to the ceiling, I have two in-ceiling clips and then two in-wall clips. So this is a full 7.1.2 um, Dolby Atmos system. Uh, you'll see the flashing lights. So I have a Hue sync box, which I'll get to in a minute in the media closet. And I have a bunch of different lights behind the TV, under the floating console here and on the side. This floating console is Ikea. I'll link to that as well if you're interested. So we have, as far as light sync is concerned, we have these play bars. I have one on the left, one on the right. If we go behind the TV, you see there I have one on the left and one on the right of the TV. Above the TV on the back is a Philips Hue light strip. And then underneath this console is a light strip as well. Okay, if we come to the right, that door just goes to the attic. We have these two wall sconces, which I eventually have to replace because they just don't make sense in here. But those are do um, Philips Hue bulbs as well. This TV, so I mentioned this is a 55 inch, uh, another Vizio 4K Ultra uh, HD TV. This TV is a smart TV, so it has a bunch of apps built in obviously, but I also have an HDMI cable, fiber HDMI cable running from that TV around the outside of this room into that closet. And when we get into the closet, I'll show you all the electronics. But what you're seeing here is I have a, a homemade arcade using um, LaunchBox and BigBox as the software. And right now, this is just in what they call tracked mode. It's just going through all of my consoles, all my systems, and it's just you know looking pretty doing a design. But um, this is a full-blown arcade with tens of thousands of games built into it. And, and we play it all the time. What's really nice is it's usually on the main TV. So on the main TV, you will play all the old school games. And then on the right, on this TV here, that's usually the marquee. So if you think of an old school arcade, you have the television, the joysticks, and then above it is like, you know, the, the big image that says Street Fighter. And that's usually what we do here. But also just last week was the Tyson Roy Jones Jr. fight and UFC. So we started off the first half of the night with UFC on the big TV that boxing card on the small TV. And then as soon as, as Tyson was ready to go, we, we swapped those TVs. So uh, we have a lot of, I have a lot of flexibility in what we watch on each screen, depending on the situation, especially for football Sundays. When we come to the back of the room, we have our candy, uh, our two candy cabinets, one on each side. We have one on this side, 
one on that side. These are usually stocked, but we just had Thanksgiving and my nephews are here, so it has been raided. Um, down below it is another one of those hovering cabinets. Inside, I just keep some plates, forks, knives, things like that, because lots of times when we come up here for a football Sunday, for fights, you know, I'll, I'll make some, some queso dip or some of the wings that you've seen in my other videos, and uh, we'll, we'll put that out here. This couch in the back, it's fully reclinable. The cup holders light up, they're LEDs, the middle folds down with electricity. Same with these two reclining chairs here. They're loaded with LEDs, they're electric recliners and all that. The way I've hidden the wires, at least the best I can, is you see here coming out of that outlet, I have shoved an extension cord underneath the molding, then underneath the carpet with just a little wire going under the chair. So I try to keep this room as wire free as I possibly can. If we come behind the couch, that's where I have my subwoofer hidden. It's a small subwoofer, it is not a giant subwoofer, um, but it, it hits really well when I need it to. And frankly, the problem is <laughs> I have two little kids, so I'm not exactly trying to uh, shake the entire house, make sure they don't sleep. Uh, this is a marquee, my wife got it at a flea market. It's pretty cool, I used to update it every, every week with the, you know, the UFC event, the fight, whatever we were watching, um, but then we got this TV. So now, depending on what we're watching, I, uh, you know, this will display a movie poster or, um, you know, whatever it is I want on there. And now let's go to the closet. So what's really cool about this closet, at least because I'm a nerd in my opinion, I have a bunch of old video game consoles as well as the electronics that make everything work and a mini fridge. So I am going to go through this item by item. So we have an original NES uh, box. We have a Game Boy, obviously, an original Xbox, a Sega Genesis, an uh, Xbox 360. This is a popcorn machine. Um, this Xbox, um, the Nintendo, all this, everything works. I have all the controllers. I have games for everything. I have the power adapters, and they all work. Uh, going from right to left here, we have a Game Gear a Sega Dreamcast, which that is actually my favorite console of all time, I think, behind Sega Genesis. Um, Virtua Tennis on a Dreamcast is the best. Uh, this is a Sega Saturn with the, um, that Sega Genesis is the uh, remake. And then this is a Sega Genesis with the 32X attachment and the Sega CD attachment. So this is a really cool find. We come down here, I have an original Nintendo. Super Nintendo with the classics behind them, a Nintendo 360, a GameCube, and a Wii. If we come down another level, um, that um, that little box there, that has odds and ends like uh, the Wii modes and, and stuff like that. We have a couple VHFs, uh, VHSs, and King of Queens box set. That, thing is, that show is unbelievable. Um, I have a PS2, a PS1. With the classics. So those are all my classic consoles. I'm not a collector by any means, but they do all work. Um, we don't really need to play them because I have the arcade. So we keep coming down. Uh, here's some of the games for those classic systems. Here's my receiver. So this receiver here is a Pioneer Elite. It is a Dolby Atmos ready receiver, full 4K, Dolby Vision, Ultra HD, and all that. And this is what's driving the audio, obviously. And then above it is the Dolby, or, or sorry, the Philips Hue sync box. So the way I have this set up, so for those lights to sync on the TV, I have all of my streamers here. So I have an NVIDIA Shield here. This is a network switch, and there's an Apple TV. And then down here is my Asus gaming PC, um, which is running the arcade. So basically, I have all of these devices, the arcade, the NVIDIA Shield and the Apple TV going into that Philips Hue sync box. That sync box, sync box then goes to this receiver and then this receiver is where the video is coming out to go to the TV in the front of the room. And everything goes into that little box and that's what interprets the video signal and that's what does the, the lights and tells them what colors to be and what, you know, what it should, should and shouldn't do. So that's how I have it set up. I have other videos dedicated to the light sync if you wanna watch that. But if we come down, this wire coming out of the wall here, that's how I have, uh, those wires are going to the TV on the side. 
Uh, that's the fiber optic HDMI cable as well as an ethernet cable. This glowing red PC here, that's my gaming PC. Uh, I don't game in the traditional sense, but that's what's running the arcade. So that's, um, you know, that's what we play all of our retro games on and that's what's hooked up to the TV. This is a small mini fridge. I've just got some beers and waters in here. And then here I have, it might be hard to see, but those are two uh, eight gigabyte or eight terabyte external hard drives that I have uh, the arcade on. The arcade is probably 14 terabytes uh, of data. So I have that on those hard drives. This little thing here, this Retron 5, that plays old school video games. It plays five different types, um, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Sega Genesis, uh, Game Boy, and Game Gear maybe. And um, what's really nice about that is it has HDMI out. And I don't, if I do want to play an original cartridge or an old school game, like I have Galaga in there right now, we can just play it right from there. I don't need to pull down one of my other systems. On the right in that box is a Super Nintendo Classic, but I've modded it. So it's a Super Nintendo Classic with the full Super Nintendo library. So every Super Nintendo game um, is on here. And, you know, it's the mini console and the two controllers. So actually, we will use that every now and then. Uh, I have a TV on a rolling cart that we'll put outside and watch, you know, watch TV or play video games. And here's the full Seinfeld DVD box set. And I just bought those, not because I watch DVDs, but I just bought those because, um, you know, they're really cool boxes and I love those shows. And here I just have some wall mounts for the remotes. This one is specifically for the Apple TV remote. This is a universal controller, you know, remote wall mount. I'll put a link in the description. It's really helpful. And we have a couple of these and I just have the remotes sitting in there so they're not all over the place. And if I come to this side of the closet, here's where we keep the Xbox 360 controllers. This is what we use to play the arcade. And then here is my uh, keyboard mouse combo for the arcade as well. And then a shotgun if we want to do Buck Hunter and things like that. And then there's just a remote for the fan. So I keep it all tidy and organized. Everything serves a purpose. We keep it as spotless clean as possible. And uh, this is where we spend a ton of our time playing video games, watching movies, uh, and doing all that. If you have any questions or anything, let me know. And actually, one last thing I'll show you very quickly is behind the TV, here's a handy little, um, this right here is actually a remote holder. And this remote is for this TV. And actually, we keep those behind all of our TVs in the house because it's handy, you don't lose the remote, and you don't have to shuffle around, you know, what is this for, what is that for? I used to have the full Harmony Hub and all of that. I just found it was more complicated than I needed because we use CEC. So when I turn on the Apple TV, it automatically turns everything else on. So one remote turned everything on, and when I turn it off, it turns everything off. So there's no real need um, to have that giant universal remote. Let me shut the lights off for you so you can get a better feel for the, uh, for the light sync. And we'll, we'll let this, uh, we'll let this move on to the next video here. But, you know, all in all, we, we spend a good amount of time in here. I would say most of the time that we spend in here is actually, um, it's actually spent watching fights, um, than it is playing games, but, uh, we do all of the above. So here's just a quick Adobe demo that'll walk through, you know, a couple different scenes to, to showcase the lighting. And what's nice about this is you can set the effects however you want. So you could have it be extreme, you could have it be subtle, uh, and the light sync's totally up to you. This is extreme. We don't actually usually watch stuff extreme. I like subtle light changes and, you know, just ambient light uh, to enjoy whatever we're watching. I don't want it to be a distraction. Um, and, and the camera is picking up hot spots. So basically, you're seeing the glow on the wall um, from the TV or from the side of the TV and things like that, those lights. In real life, I'm not seeing that, but as I look at the screen here, I see that you see this hotspot. So it's pretty clear, it's pretty clean. Uh, they've released a light strip dedicated to the TV with a bunch of zones. I haven't got it yet. A bunch of people are having problems, so I'm gonna probably wait uh, a little bit till they sort that out. But here's our media room. Um, you know, like I said, we spend a ton of time in here. We really enjoy the space. We live in Texas, so it's a dedicated room. Uh, and sorry, the last thing I'll note here is we do have uh, a step. It's it's a riser, but it's fully built in. 
So uh, these back seats are higher than the front seats, um, which obviously is useful if we got a bunch of people in here. So hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, let me know. If you're thinking of building something uh, and you want to know what I would have done differently or what, what works, what doesn't work, feel free to ask questions. Um, and I will have links in the description for everything you saw here, or at least anything that I can, that I can possibly link to. Um, and again, if you have questions, let me know. I have other videos dedicated to the light sink, other videos dedicated to the arcade, and then other videos dedicated to all the crap I cook when we watch fights. So, you know, like, subscribe, let me know if you have any questions, and uh, we'll see you soon.